welcome back to Characard, my friends. And I hope you're doing well at the moment. It's time to celebrate in style with the Pokemon Celebrations 25th Anniversary set. Now, I left it to you lot to, to decide what you wanted me to open up. Do you know what? I managed to show it. It's easier. I'll give you a choice. Either that, uh, that, or that. And you decided these guys. So we're going to open these up in this video. So make sure you stick around. It's the 25th year anniversary and we've got to find some decent cards in the set because I've heard this is a banger. So make sure you stick around. Now, if you're new to the channel, we open up Pokemon stuff all the time and we just have a little bit of fun, to be honest. We just open up stuff just so you guys know what's in these items. And if you're a long term subscriber, thank you very much, my friend. And it's great to see you again. Shall we start with a box at a time? So let's do Lance's Char uh, Char card? Charizard last. Now, with the Dark Sylveon V, as you can see, it's a lovely looking box. I'll do a rotation. There we go. So the mysterious voice is Dark Sylveon V. So with this set, we do get the foil promo card featuring uh, Dark Sylveon V, the oversized card, which is a little bit smaller than the jumbo size. For Pokemon TCG Celebrations booster packs, we get two additional Pokemon TCG booster packs, one information sheet, and of course, a code card for online. But as you can see, this box art is something else. They have done such a great job. Who, Pokemon, seriously. Who done these recent designs, these boxes? Because this is eye-catching. It is stonker it's absolutely brilliant i'm so happy with this so do you know what let's stop talking about it. let's get into it so if well in the uk we've got these for sale for 21.95 um in the states i noticed you've got tins correct me if i'm wrong but i noticed you got the tins but i think they're meant to be about 21.95 rrp as well but to be honest the scalpers have got out there already and some of these already on troll and toad I think about sixty pound, uh, sixty dollars already. And I thought, crikey, who's gonna pay that? Just, just wait. Just honestly, just wait a few more weeks, folks, because yo, know, celebrations is gonna be here for a while. So here's our information sheet about train on. I hold that there. I hold the text up close so you can all have a read if you want to. On the back, nothing at all. There we go. So lovely bit of artwork we got there. We also get. Oh, see, I'm loving. I'm loving this little design going on here at the moment. That is a cool little bit of uh, artwork there. So here's the Sylveon promo card. Oh, just want to be careful with these because uh, these are very fragile, these. So, of course, this is Sword and Shield promo number 134. So, the, generally, these cards don't look too bad. A bit too much this side to that side. But to be honest, it's a lovely looking card. Looking away from the camera, trying to act cool. But we all know Sylveon's a cool looking Pokemon. Here's the oversized card again, featuring the 25 year anniversary stamp. I'm not a huge fan, but I think it's a nice way to you know, commemorate 25 year anniversary of Pokemon. I think it's great. We've got to have a stamp somewhere. Yes, I know the Japanese stamp is much cooler than ours, but we're not going to get into that. So has everyone managed to get some celebrations into their life? I mean, you don't need to have it straight away. You don't need to hoard this set. This set is all about opening up and celebrating with Pokemon in style. And I think they've done a pretty good job. I think they've targeted the correct audience here. Because at the end of the day, it's got all sorts of people talking about Pokemon back when they used to collect it back in the day in bits and pieces. So I'm very happy they've managed to bring these out and you know, tickle the nostalgia feelings again. Because at the end of the day, oh, it's battle styles, isn't it? Of course we get nothing with battle styles. I'm just gonna rush through these packs because there's nothing too much in battle styles. Darkness of Blades, I will spend my time with Darkness of Blades because I do like this set. However, see your green card, so I'll go straight into it. Uh, nothing too much there, and there's the code card. Right, we've got the boring cards out of the way. Who can say they're boring? Now with the generations, if you haven't seen them yet, they are, they just remind me of the Japanese cards. The way they're a lot more thinner, you only get four cards plus a code card. The card trick's a little bit different, but to be honest, I'm not gonna do a card trick. I'm gonna go straight into it. But these cards are absolutely lovely looking, aren't they? This is a, they've done a great job. Hats off to you, Pokemon. The only problem I do say is you have to be a little bit careful. You don't bend your cards inside. But they have left quite a bit of room. Now, you can see white and green immediately. They're all white and green, everybody. 
So I'm going to come down to this one. Here we go. So we got a Lugia, Cosmium, and there we go, a Mega Requisia EX straight out the bat. Check that one out. They ain't bad for the first pool, is it? Luna Isla, by the way. You know, not get neglected. And there's the code card. So there's our first pool. So let's have a look at the Mega Requasia EX, which fantastic looking card from the 2015, it says on here. So I'm not familiar with anything from base up until Sun and Moon uh, Unbroken Bond. So you guys might have to point out to me. So which set was the Mega Requasia from? Go on, leave it in the comments because that's a lovely looking card. As you can see, look at the glitter on that. Oh, okay, I'm getting goosebumps already, I'm excited. If this is the first pack, what's the rest of the set gonna be like? So you guys should have voted, uh, voted for the Elite Trainer box, because then we would've got the little booklet and we could share that out, but that's in the next video. And I don't know what's gonna be third place, I think it's a Zacian set, I think Zacian was gonna be the third one, and then Dragapult Prime for some reason came last. So I'm gonna go Skycam. It's got another Lugia. Do we always start off with Lugia? Zekrom, a Palkia, and a Mew. Look. Wow. Look at it. I tell you what, Mew is one happy bunny. Look at that. Look at. It's like a. Actually, hang on. I know this is probably. Everyone's probably seen. There's so many videos of celebrations now. Are these all hollow? Yeah, they've all got like a mirror effect to it. I don't know if my camera does pick it up. I do try to move it around so you can see. But they've all got like a mirror effect on it. And that's a beautiful looking effect. Oh God, that's me terrible for getting scratches, isn't it? Uh-oh. So that's not bad going. So we've got one good pull. I've got a Mew. So does that count? I know there is a shiny Mew in this set. And I've been told that is like the go card that everyone's after. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Oh, another Kyogre. And oh, Surfing Pikachu. Look at the updated version of the Surfing Pikachu V, which is, uh, if I'm not you know, incorrect, I know it's in the evolutions, but it's some of the uh, other base sets, wasn't it? Wow. Check him out. Very nice. And there's the code card. Thank you for you. Well, thank you for taking the code card. Don't, don't, just don't, do, don't steal all the code cards. Because at the end of the day, I share them so you lot can open up some of this yourself if you haven't managed to get any or if you can't afford any because this set is pretty expensive as we've seen. So here we go. So we've got Diagla. We've got another Zekrom. This is Zekrom is always in every set. And a Rasharam. Check him out. And look at full art looking Pikachu. I'm loving this. I am loving this artwork. Look. Oh, do you know what? I'm so excited. I, feel, I honestly feel like I'm a nine year old all over again. Gah. I said, my lad's going to love opening up some of this set. He's going to love opening up some of this stuff. So I have got some coming in for him. So if any of you are concerned, like, oh my God, he hasn't got anything to open. Yeah, my lad has got some to open up. So he's very happy. So out of that box set, as you can see, there we go. So we have got three good pulls and what we're going to probably call extra, extra doubles. I mean, to be honest, these cards are still lovely. They've got the lovely hollow effect on it. And do you know what? We're all gonna have a quite a few few doubles to have, but this would be good for trading, I suppose. Good for bulking again. So let's open up the Lances Charizard to see what else we get. So of course, have you guys got any celebrations? Leave it in the comments because it'd be nice to hear what you get or what pulls you get. So make sure you share it with everyone because it's at the end of the day we're celebrating Pokemon 25th year anniversary, and it's gonna be a great. Oh, I didn't go through the box did I first. Sorry, I will go around the box and make sure. You can see it all. But yeah, it's anniversary set. And it's amazing. This this I mean it's it's stunning. I'm so happy about this. So light the flamethrower of Lance's Charizard V. And there's all your text. Of course, you get one full promo, one oversized card, four Pokemon TCG celebration packs, two additional Pokemon TCG packs, one information sheet, and of course a code card for online. So let's like design again. Very nice. Absolutely good. This is getting straight into this, because at the end of the day, we want to know what's inside this and if we get any good pulls. Because probably everyone's watching this thinking, do I buy this one? Do I buy that one? So far, what I have heard, this is the hardest one to get hold of. I don't know why. Personally, I thought, well, actually, no, the Elite Trainer Box is one of the hardest. But I would have thought um, Zacian or the Dragapult Prime was hard. But this one is really hard to get online, apparently. Because everyone's ordered these and they're all getting Sylveons. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, great one. But there you go. So that's a good little ripe of train on Charizard. Very nice. Of course, we're going to go through this box. Let's see how the promo is. I've, oh, I have to be careful with these. Because I mean, I'm not going to have many chances to get these promos. I think these are going to be very hard to get hold of for a while. 
So there we go, there's a close up of the Lancers Charizard, uh, promo card number uh, SWSH133. And it hasn't been cut with a chainsaw this time, so it's very good. Very nice indeed, there we go. And of course, here's the oversized card. If you're into these oversized cards, I'm not really a, a big collector of these. I have got the binder going on, but um, it's okay, it's okay. It's good to put on the wall. It's good for children's bedrooms, walls. Put, my son's got more over his walls anyway, some of them. And my duplicates are um, put in a binder. So here we go. Oh, do you know what? I didn't need to show you the code card. I am so sorry, everybody. There we go. So like I said, in the next video, we will feature the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box because then we can find out what cards are in the set using the book. Because I like open up those books. They're very good sets. And uh, yeah, you get all the bump all the sleeves and all the extra pieces you need to set up your Pokemon journey. So we got a white and green, would you believe, from Brat Battle Styles? Anything good? Uh, Sanaconda. We got another Sanaconda. <laughs> And there's the code card for you out there. Like I said, I don't have much luck with battle styles. I'm still after that rapid strike VMAX. Oh, green card from Darkness of Blaze. Straight into it. Nothing too exciting. There we go. We've got Disney Squirrel. Which, of course, Greedon is going to be featured on the new Fusion Strike set coming out in November. Which I am looking forward to getting that card. That card is hilarious. So here we go. So let's enjoy the celebration theme together again with each other but what i would like to say is thank you so much for you lot watching these videos i really appreciate it and a rocket zapper dose oh my god this is hang on hang on oh my god do you know i remember this card but i never owned it is this from um team rocket obviously, obviously it's rocket zapper dose. but still it's a card i never got to own as a kid oh look at another mew oh is mew quite a common card there looks like it doesn't it Wow. Check out. Do you know what? This is the nice thing about this. Pokemon have done this so we can all relive our childhood together again. We can all go, yes, I will. I was managed to pull the Charizard base set or I managed to pull the uh, Mega Requazia EX. We can all enjoy that together again. Which I think that's what Pokemon does. It does bring us together, which is really nice. It makes a very colourful community. Kyogre and a dog carrot! Check out the Gyarados! Oh my word! Oh, I tell you, if you can see my face, I'm actually smiling. My, my face is actually hurting. Oh, look at that! What an amazing looking card! Oh, what's at the back? Oh, <laughs> it had to be. You got the Gyarados swimming underneath the surf and Pikachu. Oh, look at the V Max! Wow, I'm. Stoked! I really am. This is a love. This is a lovely card. Who? Yo, honestly, who did this at Pokemon? Who thought, Let's make a Surf and Pikachu V Max card. Let's all make one. Oh, uh, uh, do you know what? Hats off to you guys, whoever made this card. Look at that. What a lovely card. So we managed to get three pulls already in two packs. This is the best, funnest set I've had since Hidden Fates. Oh, is this going to be Hidden Fates, everyone? I don't know. It might do, I might enjoy. Oh look, Groudon. Wow, that's a nice looking card, isn't it? Let's see what we get with this set. Groudon. A nice looking Xeranese or some weird rainbow deer thing. Kyogre. And a Professor's Research full of What's Professor Oak doing on there? What's he doing here? This is like the OG professor this is the one that everyone grew up and always wanted to be or be friends with was a professor oak from pallet town oh wow i am so happy i, I I'm, I'm honestly this this set i'm i'm i've got to i've got to try and locate some more this me and my lad i love opening up this together oh it, it, oh this is just amazing i've i've pulled four cards i've pulled four mate and I, i'm classifying mu as a good card as well but i pulled four cards God, Shine of Fates has nothing on this. So last set, everyone. I'm going to show you the code card at the end as well. But thank you for joining us. This was the Lance's Charizard V set with the Dark Sylveon V. It's great to see you guys again. And I have got a Flying Pikachu. <laughs> flying Pikachu V. He's a little happy chappy. How many Pikachus do we want? We pulled so many Pikachus in this video. 
And of course, the code card. Thank you very much. I will, I will see you in the next video with the Elite Trainer Box. Goodbye, everybody.